Hi, my name is Daniel and I'm a little bit concerned about this mole I have here on my belly. I know it's hard to see and also it's a bit weird to have you all here in my bathroom watching. So how about I tell you a little bit more about what we did to make people like me feel less embarrassed. So let's talk about medical selfies. Medical selfies are just like normal selfies, only that they are for medical purpose. So for example, a rash or mole that you are concerned about. So you take your phone, you take the photo and then either send, send it to a physician or get it checked by an algorithm right on the device. However, often these images are very sensitive for patients and not much work has been done to find out what the experience is like on the patient side. So we ask ourselves two questions. First of all, what are the emotional aspects of medical selfies? And second of all, how can we design mHealth apps to overcome the physical and practical challenges of medical selfies? To answer those questions, we conducted two studies. One was an online survey with 100 participants to learn more about prior experience and attitude towards medical selfies. And after that, we recruited 12 participants for a study where they took photos of different body parts, from their foot sores to genitals to shoulder blades, and were thinking aloud while they took the photos. This helped us to give us in-situ insights and was also less intrusive, so privacy was a main priority for us. In a follow-up interview the next day, we also let them reflect and discuss. We found, first of all, that a large amount of our survey respondents, 88%, had prior experience in sharing medical selfies uh, and mainly sending them to their spouses, partners, family and friends. A quarter of our 12 participants decided to not take the photos of the genitals. We observed that participants noticed the presence of skin features they were not familiar with before the study or had forgotten about. Interestingly, some of the participants were concerned with the aesthetics of the photos, even though they were aware that they were for a medical purpose. A common worry was also that the photos were uploaded to cloud services or that they would accidentally expose them when showing photos in their gallery um, to, to friends. So we first suggest that medical selfies should be seen as a means of self-expressions. So patients do care about the aesthetics of medical selfies and this goes hand in hand with taking ownership and responsibility of their medical condition, which has shown to improve outcomes. Second, it should be obvious that the photos taken with mHealth apps should not be uploaded to the cloud or stored together with other camera photos. But uh, more importantly, this should also be clearly communicated uh, to the user. And third, mHealth apps should support the patient-doctor relationship. So most people prefer to have a visible connection to their doctor and this should also be implemented in the app, for example, um, by letting the patient know who will make the diagnosis of their submitted photos. So if there were two things you should take away from our paper, it's first, taking medical selfies is an intimate experience. And second of all, therefore, uh, it should be a very high priority to build trust between the MF app and the user. Thank you very much.